Hello friends, welcome to Susan and John MathTube. Today, we are going to introduce you to rank of a matrix. Anyway, I have two questions in front of you. Because I know some of you who are watching this video will be very clear with the concept of rank. Maybe some of you know how to find the rank of a matrix. But wait a minute, let's just read the two questions. What is the meaning of a rank of a matrix and why do we need rank? Wait, wait. Before we can answer these questions, you should clearly understand a system of linear equations. Because once we understand a system of linear equations and their behavior or the geometric meaning of the solution of a system of linear equation, we will be able to find the advantage of rank in an equation solving perspective. So look at this. In mathematics, we try to solve many many real life problems by using mathematical models. And sometimes when we try to solve real life problems, we might or we may end up with linear equations. Okay? Simultaneous linear equations that means there will be more than one linear equation okay so sometimes there will be two equations sometimes three sometimes four etc 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 okay now let's go for the simplest possible case a linear equation in two variables so just imagine we have two simultaneous equation in two variables where both the variables are of degree 1. So I think you remember your high school geometry when you started learning 2D geometry. And you might have learned that an equation in the form ax plus by plus c equal to 0 represents a line. Maybe some of you are still wondering how this will represent a line. So look at this. You consider an equation or any equation in the form ax plus by plus c equal to 0. And now what you do is you collect all the x comma y values which will balance this equation. And if you plot all those points then you are going to get a straight line. So I'll give you an example. So you consider the equation x plus y is equal to 2. As you can see, the power of x is 1 and the power of y is 1. So this is a first degree equation in x and y. Okay, now can you guess a few points which will balance this equation? Okay. So 1 comma 1, look at this, 1 plus 1 is equal to 2. So definitely 1 comma 1 will balance this equation. Another one 2 comma 0, maybe 0 comma 2, maybe 4 comma minus 2, or maybe minus 1.1, 3.1. So take a look at this, if you add them, you get 2. So you will get infinite number of points which balance the above equation. Now imagine we are going to plot all these points in a graph. So what exactly do you expect? Voila! Of course it will be a straight line. And that is exactly what we expected. So what I am trying to convince you here is if you have an equation in the form ax plus by plus c equal to 0 then you're going to get a straight line. Okay, now let's try to visualize what happens when you have two equations in this format. Or let's try to visualize what will happen when you have two simultaneous equations in two variables. And I have taken the following three systems. One, 
is this one the next one in red and the third one orange okay so let's try to plot this okay we can see that we end up with two lines as you all expected and the lines intersect at a point so this point will be able to balance both the equations any point on this line this light blue line will balance the second equation for example 4 comma 0 for example 0 comma 4 and any point on this violet line will balance the first equation so this point will be capable of balancing both the equations and that will be the solution or that is exactly what you get when you solve two equations so that's it number one unique solution now let's go for the second system okay graphically the second system will look like this of course they are parallel lines you can check the slope of the first line and the second line so if you try to solve these two equations you're going to get something foolish just imagine if you try to multiply the first equation throughout by 2 and if you subtract you'll get something like 6 is equal to 1 or something like that so basically you will not be able to solve because the graph has no common point and our common sense tells us that if 2x plus y is equal to 3 then 2 into 2x plus y should be 6 and not 1 so that's it no solution and now let's go for a third case so I want you to focus on this system so I'm sure you are able to see two equations but when you plot them you'll be able to see only one graph see and actually what happens is it's kind of like one line above the other or rather both the equations are same so that means there will be infinite number of points which can balance the system because each and every point will balance the system and the solution will be infinite okay now let's think about a system of three equations in three variables and an equation in this format will represent a plane so when we have three equations in three variables we get eight possible positions and only one will give a unique solution so look at this I have three equations of planes and I hope you're able to see the common point over here or like this so as before we have unique solution now imagine the three planes being parallel to each other so if you try to solve this system of equations of course there will be three equations in three variables you will not get any solution now you can imagine this look at this two planes are coincident that means two are one above the other and the third one parallel again no solution and now take a look at this the first one and the third one intersects the second one and the third one intersects but there is no common point can you see any common point here so that means no solution and now think about it all the three intersect but they are intersecting like two at a time these two intersect and then these two intersect and then the other two intersect and every time a line will be created 
every time a line will be created but is there any common point of course no okay now imagine all the three are coincident so that means there are infinite number of common points all the points in the plane are common that means infinite solution now let's think about the three of them create one line of intersection so can you see this line of intersection and all these points are common so we get infinite number of solution again and you can imagine two are coincident and the third one cuts again a line will be formed and hence infinite solution so what I am trying to convince in this video is when you have a system of equations let it be two equations in two variables or three equations in three variables or maybe four equations in four variables of course I am talking about linear equations then there are three possible cases and the possibilities are unique solution infinite solution and no solution now look at this the situation will be complicated and complicated it keeps on getting complicated and complicated as the number of variables increases and I'm sorry I won't be able to plot all those things here because it might exist in higher dimensions line of course we can draw in a plane and planes we can visualize these things in 3d but what about fourth dimension fifth dimension we won't be able to visualize those things and when we solve real life problems we may end up with equations having more than four variables five variables etc so graphing is not a feasible method and look at this even when we had only three variables you can see that graphing was hard so for more than three variables graphing is practically impossible with current technology anyway as I told you before we know that there are three different possibilities unique solution no solution and infinite solution now the main question how can we survive without a graph I just told you graphing is not a feasible method when the number of variables will increase so the biggest question how can we survive or how can we solve these problems when we have more than three variables or even in the case when we have three variables so now I hope you understood why we need rank so in the next video we'll be discussing more about this particular character so rank will be the tool which will help us to determine the nature of equations let it be linear equation or a simultaneous system in three variables or four variables but rank will be a very useful method which will help us find the nature of the equation so this is an explanation to rank in matrix perspective so look at this rank is a technique which will help us understand the nature of a system of equations the rank do you know what the rank does it will basically cut all the relations between the rows if there are any relation so it just puts the system into a raw format so that the linearly connected equations will disappear and we will be able to visualize the situation easily you will understand this line only in the next video when I show you how we use rank okay and one more thing if you are good in programming if you know a little bit of programming you can develop programs to find the rank and there are many many programs which are readily available and these programs are extremely helpful so before I end this video I'll repeat once more 
what we did in this video is we tried to visualize a system of equation so remember a system of two equations in two variables will create two lines and the lines can intersect or they might be parallel or they might be one above the other so basically there will be three possibilities unique solution infinite solution and no solution and we saw the same thing happening with planes and another important thing is graphing method is not feasible so that is why we go for an alternative and that is our rank anyway i'll stop this video here so if you like the video do share with your friends subscribe and soon i'll be back with the next video in which we'll be learning the matrix operations and we will make a very clear base so that we can study about rank and then we will learn how to use rank to solve a system of linear equation so till then bye